My next type of technology is a website called Quizlet. Um, I've been using it for years now. I used it all throughout high school. Um, I've been using it in college. It's awesome. It's helped me so much with tests and quizzes and everything. Um, so this is the website. And there's um, different lessons will come up. I have an account. You should probably make one because you can save things and everything. But So this is my account. Um, there's all different stuff that I've used. Um, I just joined a sorority, so this is all the information I needed to know. Um, this is from a psych exam. So you can see, like, these are the definitions, or these are the words that I need to know, and these are the definitions. There's all of them there. Um, so there's that. You, through Quizlet, you have the ability to make your own study set or you can look something up so say I wanted to look one up and I needed to learn about um, North American history so you can type it in here in the search box and all different study sets that people have created will come up so let's look at this one so there's all the terms and definitions that this person made so I can click I usually like the flashcard ones personally so flashcards comes up and you just look at the definition and then go and you can flip and it just goes through all of the definitions and it's just an easy way for you to memorize them and then this one where it says learn, you can click up here. That's like a quiz, so you would type in the answer. This one helps with spelling. This one is just another test, so like you can quiz yourself. Um, this one is like a little game that's kind of cool. So you do that, and you can like match them like with other things. That was all. And so that's cool. I don't know any of the answers. So I'm going to make my own though. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So you come up here on the whole page and click create a study set. So you click that. And I'm going to title this um, Math Test and it will be on Edition. So then you go here and let's just say, let me make it really easy, 2 plus 2. So then on this side, you would type the answer. Um, we don't want that. Math and simple, that's what we want. So the answer is four. And here we'll do um, five plus three, and then that will be eight. And then here we'll do more. Um, we could say three plus four, and that is seven. Right, so we'll just do three for now. You can also add images. Um, voice recordings it's cool so then you'll hit create up create and then it's going to ask you if you want to share i don't do that but you can put it on facebook twitter classes folders whatever so i'm going to exit out of that and you can see so here are your terms and definitions or addition um cards that we made so there's options to study over here so flashcards learn speller tests and then the games are scatter and gravity so like say for the flashcards um, we're just gonna do this so it's gonna ask you what, what 2 plus 2 is and then you can think it's 4 easy so you hit it and then you click to flip so then you see the answer is 4 you flip it again so 2 plus 2 is 4 then we're going to go to the next one. 5 plus 3. 8. You click it. And then you see the answer is 8. So that's pretty much it. Um, you can warn them, like I said before. So it'll come up here. So 4. You know that 2 plus 2 is 4. And then it says correct. Um, then you can do the same thing for 8. You can do the test. Um, what's 7? I think we said it was plus four, two plus two is four, and then five plus three is seven. That's false and 
false, check answers, got them all correct, A plus, 100. So that's that. You can also um, choose the type of questions you wanted to do, all that. So there's so many different things you can do. It's awesome. It helps a lot with school and memorizing everything. So I highly recommend using it because it helps out a lot.